Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avi Lash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of GBP USD. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, then please subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis and do check out the Forex analysis playlist for the analysis of other pairs like Euro USD, Gold USD, GBP, JPY, USD, JPY, and many more. So let's get started. So this is the photo chart of GBP USD in front of us right now and as you can see that right now market is trading at 1.3782 this is the current market price and as you can see that right now market is also standing at the weekly resistance of 1.3780 but the problem with the GBP USD is that or personally what I have been facing is that GBP USD is not reacting well okay? because you can see that when market cross the weekly resistance when the resistance became the support here the market did not move yes it became the support for quite some time because here you can see that it took support and bounce but the market did not go up the way it should have on the other hand when it broke the support then you can see that it did not go down as well so things are not very good with the GBP USD right now and if you look at the overall trend here if you look at the overall trend here then you can see that overall trend on the market is towards the upside so things are quite confusing here so the only piece of advice for beginners new traders that I would like to give is that if you are planning to trade on GBP USD then please avoid GBP USD right now especially new traders because see there are plenty of other pairs available where you can trade and make money this pair is not uh, in the right position okay so better you should have it because see this is your hard-earned money it is your duty to protect your hard-earned capital okay because loyalty okay showing loyalty to GBP USD is not important <laughs> isn't it okay making money is important so what should be a strategy okay so and those uh, who are still trading on GBP USD and what should be a strategy so you can see that this is a chart of US dollar and if you have watched my uh, analysis on Saturday then you know it very well that things are going quite well okay as per our expectation so because on Saturday we clearly discussed that uh, there is uh, selling pressure on US dollar going on right now and it looks like a descending triangle pattern here and you can see that dollar is there is a good selling pressure on us dollar and whenever we get a setup like this generally dollar no generally market breaks the support and goes down so there is a good possibility for us dollar also breaking the support and going down but on the other hand if it somehow uh, buyers join in and somehow recovers the market again but still the selling pressure will be there as, until and unless market breaks the level so dollar for me at least dollar is losing strength and dollar will be bearish for next couple of hours and we, there is a possibility of dollar going down as well and as we all know there is a correlation with gbp usd because when dollar goes up gbp usd goes down in general and when dollar goes down we see gbp usd going up so if dollar breaks dollar starts going down then definitely there will be some buying on gbp usd and it will cross the resistance and start going up from here so if you want to go for buy then yes you can go for buy if it starts trading above the resistance of 1.3780 but my dear friends please use proper stop loss below this level and do not risk more than two to three percent of your trading capital because see this is my analysis i can be wrong as well and being a trader it is your duty to protect your capital so please uh, do not risk expose your full capital okay and as i have already mentioned earlier that things are not very well with the gbp usd so be careful and if possible try to avoid gbp usd and look for other opportunities because the main reason is that there is not much movement here on the gbp usd as of now as of now okay so let's wait and watch where the market goes where the market moves and i'll be coming tomorrow again bye bye if you have disliked the video uh, uh try to understand why i'm saying this because i do not want you to lose your hard-earned money that's it bye bye